Hey, welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're gonna to be choosing our commanders from the upcoming Wilds of Eldraine set. Looking forward to it? Let's go ahead and see the decks that everyone put together. Hey, it's Jason. Today I'm gonna to be playing Rowan, Scion of War. So I'm looking to lose a bunch of life and cast stuff for cheap. Hi, I'm Eddie, and today we're playing Kellen, the Fey-Blooded. The whole point of our deck today is we're going to do Voltron, but we're avoiding those artifacts because everybody's doing that. So we're going Auras. Hopefully, we'll see some results. Hey, it's Matt. Uh, I am here playing Hilda of the Icy Crown. In previous times, uh, I have perhaps done some things of less repute. I don't know where all those lands went, but it's probably my fault. But since then, I've been trying to stem my villainous tendencies until I saw this and I immediately thought about opposition, and uh, there was some mustache twirling and some maniacal laughter, and then I built a stacks deck. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, I'm Brent, I'm here playing Agatha. Gonna activate a bunch of activability, activated abilities of creatures and hopefully do some fun things with it. Thanks for coming, guys. First game in the new studio with these three. So yeah. let's do it, let's roll off. I got a seven. Seven. 10. Six. All right. Yeah. Damn, I'm last. I can do better. Not my happiest, but I'll take it. I love zero landers. It's okay, sure. This sure is a one lander. I also got a one lander. All right, Eddie, I guess we're playing this game. We've done it. I will keep this. I will put this card on the bottom of my deck. Sorry, I didn't mean to caress yours. Maybe he likes it. Yeah, maybe you gave it some luck. Drawing a card. Play a command tower. And I'm going to tap it to play Sensei's Divining Top. And I will pass the turn. Play this. Cinder Glade, tapped, Pass my turn. I'm gonna play a swap, I'm done. So we'll play a planes and we will pass. That's like kind of a card, sorta. Play a Hallowed Fountain into play on tap, losing two life. Tap two for an Arcane Signet, and then I'm going to pay one to cast a Moon Snare Prototype. Can tap it, and an untapped artifact or creature I control to add a colorless, and I will pass the turn. I'm gonna be helpful to everybody. We're gonna play a Yavimaya Cradle of Growth, tap those two, and I'm gonna play Agatha Soul's Cauldron. Legendary artifact. You may spend mana as those any color to activate abilities of creatures you control. Creatures you control with plus one counters on them help all activated abilities of all creatures exiled. But with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, and then has tap, exile target card from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, put a plus one counter on target creature you control. All right, pass the turn. I'm gonna play a command tower. I'm going to make a red and a black, and I will exile Simeon Spear Guide for a red to cast my commander. Gross. I am going to respond by tapping Moon Snare Prototype to tap top for a mana, and I'm gonna look at the top three. I'm done when Matt's done. Play a mountain, and we're gonna do the first search of the game. We're going on an adventure. Birthright Boon, we're gonna search my library for an aura or equipment, reveal it, put it in my hand, then shuffle. He's off on an adventure. We're grabbing all the glitters to discard down, lose the planes. I'm gonna untap all these things and then draw a card. Uh, I have a planes. Three, near set, powder of veils. Minus it to look at the top four. You ready for this? Nothing. <laughs> but it's fine because I didn't want those cards anyway. I'm going to activate top. That's it, pass turn. We're gonna see the real value. Exile that plans. Get wrecked. Get it out of existence. Yeah. Yeah. What are the foothills? We're gonna cast my commander, Agatha, and we're gonna fetch. Uh, activated abilities of creatures you control cost X less to activate, where X is Agatha's power. This effect can't reduce the mana cost to less than one mana. And then she has four red, green. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample until, and haste until end of turn. Fetch up a stomping ground, enter tapped, and I will pass the turn. Let's play a mountain. Go to combat. For it, Narsa. Fine. Okay. Pay two for a Call of the Ring. Enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, the ring tempts you. Whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. Now give me a moment to read the ring, because I have no idea what it does. I'm done after that. We will play this spectator seating that enters untapped because I have two or more opponents. And Kellen is back from his adventure. He has a 2-2 two -two double strike with other creatures I control. Get plus one, plus zero for each aura and equipment attached to Kellen. And I will pass the turn. One, dose, three, Moonblast Cleric. When Moonblast Cleric enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal it. Shuffle your library and put that card on top. I'm going to go find the reason I built the deck. I am going to put the card opposition on top of my library. Pass turn. I'm going to exile there. So pay three life. Play this. Turned up. 
Timber. Two green, two colorless. Cast Baron Umbra, targeting Agatha. Gross. Mm. Did good. She now has enchanted creature has plus two, plus two. And whenever this creature attacks, untap all lands you control. Also, totem armor. You go to combat. We're gonna get the guy that, you know, life total matters. Three? Yep. On attack, untap all lands. Oh, it's too late. I already took my life. <laughs> this seems fun to play out for next turn. Diviner's Wand. Crypt creature has, whenever you draw a card, this creature gets plus one, plus one against flying until end of turn, and pay four, draw a card, pass the turn. I'm gonna untap. At the beginning of my upkeep, the ring tempts you. I'm gonna make Rowan my ring bearer. I'm gonna pay two life and draw a card. I'm gonna play a swamp. Activate Rowan, sign of war. Spells I cast this turn will cost two less mm -hmm. if they are red or black. I will pay four mana for a Bolas of Citadel. I will respond with a counter spell. That's no fun. Yeah, you know it. Go ahead. What is Cliff Top Retreat? We're going to start this off by casting Spirit Mantle, targeting Kellen. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and protection from creatures. Then we're gonna pay two more, and we're gonna give him that all that glitters. It's gonna get plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment we control. Currently getting plus three, plus three, so he has a five, five with double strike. Yup. Yikes. Jason. All right. <laughs> Your life total matters. <laughs> yeah. I will pass the turn. One, two, three, four. I will cast opposition. I can tap an untapped creature I control to tap target artifact creature or land. That's it. Pass the turn. I'm gonna exile the loss of Citadel. Okay. Got him. My land for turn is command tower. Three. Quick diviner's wand. Going to combat. I'm going to tap your commander. Yep. With opposition. I'm gonna pass the turn. During my upkeep, I'm gonna get tempted by the ring. I will lose two life and I'll draw an additional card. Let's go ahead and play a swamp for turn. I'm gonna activate my commander. Battle at the bridge. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until in the turn you gain X life. Five that way. Okay. I will gain five life. I'm going to pay one for a hex parasite. Dislike. Give up my life on demand. Go ahead. We're gonna pay four. We're going to cast Birthright Boon. He's going on an adventure. We're gonna go ahead and search for another aura. I think we're gonna grab the Sage's Reverie. Play this planes for turn and pass. The beginning of your end step, I am going to tap these to make a mana and use it on top to determine my future. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shout outs at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. Untap, upkeep, draw. <gasps> wow, it's this card I knew was there, which is Reflecting Pool. Four, Hilda of the Icy Crown. Uh, whenever I tap an untapped creature and opponent controls, I may pay one when I do. Choose one, make a four, four white and blue elemental creature token. Put one on counter on each creature I control or scry two and draw a card. I'll pass the turn. I guess this power is currently three. It sure is. So I'm gonna pay one to draw a card. So now it's for power four, but it doesn't matter here because I still have to pay one to draw a card. Also on end step. Uh, all that glitters. Draw for turn. Whenever I draw a card, this creature gets plus one, plus one flying. Until end of turn. Land for turn is gonna be a basic forest. Three. Cast this Savella Ice Shaper. I'm gonna attempt to go to combat. At the beginning of combat, tap this Moonblast Cleric to tap your commander. I am going to pay one mana. I am going to make a four, four. That'll be the end of my turn. Upkeep, the ring will tempt me. I'm gonna choose Hex Parasite. In response, I will tap Hilda to tap your commander. Yeah. Pay one. Scry two and draw a card. Okay, while well, you're doing all that, I'm gonna pay two life and draw a card. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna draw my regular card. Oh my god. <laughs> Found my lands, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Dragon Skull Summit. Tasks for red or black. Yeah, I'm all done. We will just attempt to cast Kellen. He is back from his adventure. Pass the turn. At the beginning of your end step, I'm gonna tap Savella, because I can. I'm gonna in the top during my upkeep. Blue, Mystic Remora. I'm gonna tap top to draw a card. It's a land. Hitting your land drops is cool, do that. And I'm gonna cast Mother of Runes. Go ahead. On your end step, I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna draw another card. I'm gonna draw another card. Well, that's just too much. Also, exile counter spell. Okay. Come on, why don't you finish this? I wanna start a new one. <laughs> draw for turn, which is gonna make Agatha plus one, plus one flying to a turn. The response to the trigger, I'm going to tap Svella using my Mother of Runes. Pay one to make an icy. Tap, make a land, tap, draw a card. Seems like a nice place to be. Pretty cool. Three, 
Something's Invoker. Allows me to pay 8 and untap target land you control. It becomes an 8 8 elemental creature with trample and haste until turn. it's still land. I'll allow it. Pay 1 to draw a card. That's what I was looking for. Land for turn. End step. We're gonna discard Balls Invoker. It has pay 8, it deals 4 damage to each opponent. What does your culture do again? Exile target card from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled away, put a plus one counter on target creature you control. Creatures you control with plus one counters on them have all activated abilities of all creatures exiled with. <laughs> I got the soul cauldron. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna go to combat. You can't do that after end step. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because I did go, I did just go to straight to end step. Did I? So I used to get just getting tapped down right away that I just oh. I just skipped combat step completely. I mean, technically it goes through combat, but it's fine. Margo? Yeah. Upkeep. I'm gonna pick. Rowan is my ring bearer. In response, I will tap Rowan. Okay. I'm going to lose two life and draw a card because I picked my ring bearer. Trigger Hilda to make a new dork. I will play a swamp for turn. We're going to buy force for five. All artifacts are gone. The trigger Mystic Romero. I cannot pay for that. I am going to use Hilda to tap your commander. I'm going to pay one and I'm going to make another 4-4. Four four. I'm going to tap one of those 4-4s. Four Moonsnare prototype to make another mana, and I'm gonna tap another of the four fours to tap X Parasite. Trigger, I'll use the thing, I'll make another four four. My force will resolve? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna heroic intervention. Trigger Mystic Romero. Not paying. Yeah, all right. I'm all done. All right, your end stop. We're going to flash in the Tula's Orders, targeting Kellen. I may play at any time, I can play an instant. Whenever an enchanted creature deals counters to defending player, I may have it destroy her artifact that player controls. Yes. Right. <laughs> Trigger Mystic Romero from your aura. Cannot pay. Yay. Pay two for Saran, Senor Edificer. Then I will attempt to cast Imperial Armor targeting Kellen. Enchanted creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of cards in my hand, currently five. Trigger your remember of. I cannot pay. Saran, draw a card, go to combat. At the beginning of combat, I'm gonna tap an elemental and pay one, and I'm gonna tap your blocker. I'm gonna use Hilda to make another four four, sure. So I will be swinging for eight double strike on you, Brent. And every time he deals combat damage, you get the shrine artifact? Yeah. yeah. And the targets will be the cauldron and the wand. Yeah, I guess in response, I'm gonna exile him, put a plus one counter on my commander at least. I'll pay one to draw a card. I take eight. Uh, 16. 16. It's eight double strike. Commander damage. Pre-order. <laughs> basic land. Uh, go ahead. At the beginning of your end step, I'm going to tap Ram and your basic land. Damn. Got him. Am I paying for this Mystic Remora? Yes, probably. The fish gets older. Play an Arid Mesa as land for turn. I'm going to start with a Sensei's Divining Top that I had put on top and then drew. Spin the top. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to kill Brent. Sorry, dude. 20 your way. Rude. Yeah. Pass the turn. Hmm. Mm. You got a board wipe in hand, Eddie? Negative. Okay, I'll dig for one. Uh, my ring's maxed out. Do mm -hmm. I still get to pick? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pick um, Hex Parasite this time. Cool, in response, I will tap your commander. I will lose two life and draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna pay one and make another four, four. Cards in hand, everyone? Four. Five. None. We're gonna pay three for the Jessica's will. Well. I'm gonna target Eddie. I will trigger Mystic Romero. Would you like to pay four? I don't wanna do that. Villas, Broker of Blood, Torment of Hail Fire, oh. X Sanguinate. Those sure are some expensive spells. None of those are Toxic Deluge, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna play a Mountain for turn from my hand. I guess I have to Exsanguinate to try to live. <laughs> Five mana for Exsanguinate. You can draw a card. I will respond by fetching. You each lose three, I gain six. Don't you have a bunch of mana floating? Oh, <laughs> just as well mana. You yeah. each lose five more, I gain 10 more. Yikes. I was gonna say, I'm like, you can do it for that, I guess, but that doesn't seem super great. No, that's way better, Matt. I'm Thank helping you, you for out. that. Yeah, no, you are. Yeah. Go ahead. Cast Chandra Torture Divines. Trigger, Remora. I will not be paying. I will plus one to get two red mana. He's gonna get another one. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance and roll the dice. I'm gonna attempt to Chaos Warp the opposition. I will respond. Bond. This elemental to tap your commander, pay one, make a new elemental, and then I'm going to clever concealment, convoking. Any number of target non land permanents you control phase out. I'm going to phase out opposition and like all of my creatures. The top two, why not? Everything except Rammer is phased out in my lands. All right, hit him for two, he's down. <laughs> it's more than two. So, yeah, other creatures I control get plus one, plus zero oh. for each aura. So, That's I will swing I for that. four. Members. I will take four. Getting in while I can. I will pass. During my untap step, all of my stuff phases back in. I made an attempt. Didn't work. I don't think I want to pay for this anymore. Yeah. Upkeep. I am going to spin the top, because that card is pretty good. Land for turn is Prairie Stream. 
I can cast Kira Great Glass Spinner. Creatures you control have whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn, counter that spell or ability. I am going to tap Mother of Runes to tap Hex Parasite. Yep. And I'm going to pay one. I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on all of my dorks. Go to combat 39 at Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here anyway. Pass the turn. Thinking really hard about how you can't get out of this? Yeah. Catch. Thinking. Um, plus one -ing. I'm gonna exile the top card. Wow. To Targeted removal? Jessica, thrice reborn. Uh, it's gonna enter with two loyalty counters. Attempt for combat. I will tap your commander using Kira Greek Glass Spinner. Uh, I will trigger my commander and I will make a new 4 4. Then I will use the Moon Bus Cleric to tap your other creature and I will pay one and I will make another 4. Four, four, sure, why not? Sick, I pass. I accept, I'm gonna untap, and so are all of my friends. It's a lot of friends. Upkeep, I'll use the top. Uh, once of teeth. Combat, flunge. I got all these dudes. Teferi's protection. Fierce guardianship. Deflecting swat. All right, <laughs> uh, I will respond by activating top. You get to temporarily not exist. Yep. Play Spellseeker. I am going to put the card Delay into my hand. I'm going to pass the turn after that. Winds of Wrath. I will cast Delay. Go to combat. I will tap your commander using my Spellseeker. I'll tap the other one too. I'll pass the turn. I'm going to top. I will go to combat. I'm going to make the same attacks as last time. Whee! And I will die. Yay. So Matt's able to lock down the rest of the table about midway through the game and slowly crush them with some 4-4 elementals. Thanks for watching everyone, hope to see you next time.